What does it take to make a premium AI avatar? I'm talking about the tech behind making a fully AI generated human like David Beckham or Lionel Messi, or even just my own AI avatar speaking on the Danish national news, even though I don't speak Danish. I traveled all the way to our London Whopping Press studios, where I'll show you all the humans behind the process and the tech behind making those AI avatars and bringing them to life and how to do it best. So let's get to it. Yeah, I'm a producer here at Synthesia, which means I do all the scheduling and the casting mm. and a little bit of you. I do a lot of things, to be honest. At the moment, I do many, many things, but it's really, really fun. And we love it. Oh, nice question. Being on, as in very much like on with your smile, focus on the camera and they're keeping a smile, but also being chill because we can keep doing takes until you get there. Keep doing the takes until we get there. Yeah. How many takes do you reckon you're going to be doing? Today? Like a, a thousand. A thousand yeah. takes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I'm Megan and I do the hair and makeup. I prep all of the people that come here and get their hair and done. Mostly for the guys is to just trust the process. Like you're not gonna look like you have a lot of makeup on. Yeah. We wanna get rid of the shine mm. so that when we're in the green skin, we don't get any green reflecting off us. And you don't look as sweaty or as oily. It doesn't necessarily make you oily or sweaty, it just highlights the oil and the sweat way mm. more than just if you were just walking around on a day. Today. Mm. Cool, I'm ready to go. You're yeah. ready to go. Let's Amazing. go. All right. It's a huge hype up and you feel like a celebrity getting this much care and attention and hair, makeup and wardrobe. Now I'm heading up to one of the production rooms where the visual capture starts. Yeah, my name is Adam. I'm DPing, uh, so I'm mainly working with the camera and the lighting in the upstairs studio at the moment, where we ensure that the avatars look as good as they can. Framing and the lighting and ensuring we're not only doing that, but we're also covering the technical specs. I think one of the best things that we tell people beforehand is that the words don't actually matter. The technology just needs the emotion to come through. Obviously the words take you to that emotional state, but they're not as important. So if you kind of stumble on a word, you can just keep going. At this point, I was really fired up to get in front of the camera. Whenever I'm on set, I want to entertain everyone around me. So I had to get some of this energy out. <laughs> so I can focus on nailing my performance. For this next part, I'll be reading a script from a teleprompter that's part of the training data to capture my face and body as I read. In a compelling journey, delving into the splendors and mysteries of our solar system, we touch the untouchable, a universe far beyond our reach, populated with celestial bodies, planets, asteroids, and cosmic rays. Our limitless curiosities grapple with principles of physics and geology. It took about 25 minutes and six takes of reading, three different types of scripts. I was also advised that you should really shine when you speak because the camera eats up some of your energy. Harness the sun and light up our lives. Cut, that was beautiful, right, cool. After the shoot, I was invited into a dungeon way in the back of the studio. This is where you go to clone your voice so that your AI avatar has a voice that matches its delivery. I'm Ricardo and I am sound recordist. I record voiceovers in this room. And this room is a bit odd. Can you tell me a little bit about what we're all looking at? This is just like a, a booth. doesn't have much reverb, so we have a bit more of a control space to have a clean recording. Got it. Sometimes people see a microphone in front of them and they start panicking. If there was no microphone, it would be as easy as reading something out loud at home. There's not much of a difference. People tend to think they need to read quickly, but when you're recording like this, it's easier to, to read it slow and have a better performance pitch. At this point, we've captured all the audio and visual footage in the studio. Now we get to continue to visit the people in our London office to tell us what happens to the footage we just sent through. I'm Emily and I'm a part of the Avatar processing team. So thanks. Sure. I work on the post-production side where we run the avatars through the training and we also do a little bit of post work on our stocks and we run a lot of different client avatars. When I told a friend what I did, she was like, oh, you're kind of like a bit of a director because you're choosing what looks good in the avatar, whether it be like colors or 
performance. Sometimes there are things in the performance that can be a bit difficult for us to make a good avatar. So really have a look at our guidelines and pay attention to the performance side of things, like how to actually be in front of the camera. Sure. Yes, I'm Pedro. Uh, I'm part of the video team. We are working on making strong models so that we can have the motion of our avatars as realistic as possible. The movements that you record on the studio on that day, those are the ones that are translated in a natural flow and we make an avatar that will essentially move in the same way that you do. So I was dancing yesterday and that was recorded Will that make it into my avatar? <laughs> that will be an interesting challenge. We don't have dancing avatars yet. The more you move, the more expression you put into the recording, the more you take out of the, of the generation of the avatar. So now I'm back in Copenhagen and I'm waiting for my AI avatar to be processed. The big takeaway for today is you get out what you put in. The more human performance you put into your capture footage, the more human your AI self will appear once it's gone through the AI pipeline. If you inject more of your human self in, you'll get a more human-like avatar coming out of the experience. Did I put enough human Kevin into my AI Kevin's performance? We'll see in the avatar. We're just getting started with our AI avatars. I hope you enjoyed the journey. We'll see you down the road. If you want to learn more about AI avatars and how they're being used and where to use them, I've put a link in the description below. But I'm also curious to hear from you. If you had an AI avatar, what would you use it for? Let me know in the comments below. That's all we have for now. Thanks for stopping by.